Hi everyone, this is Russ with IOLINE Customer Service. Uh, today we're going to go through just a very quick tutorial on how to export a drawing uh, for, from Adobe Illustrator. Uh, I am using Illustrator CS6. Uh, this will work on any version of Illustrator from CS2 and higher. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to open up Illustrator here and uh, just have a blank page on the screen. I've made my page 30 by 18 to make it the size of one of our machines. So I'm just going to type out some quick text here. And this is kind of a dual uh, procedure in that uh, this will show you how to create a kiss cut for our iLine 300 cutter as well. Uh, but the procedures are all the same. So I just typed out the word iLine. I'm going to zoom in on uh, the word here so it's a little easier to see. Go back to my pick tool, and uh, what we want to do is remove the fill. So take the fill out completely, and put an outline on it. And the stroke color should be a solid color like red, green, blue, yellow, etc. So what I want to do is create a what's called an offset path. And it looks like I need to convert this to a graphic rather than text. So type, and then create outlines. Then we'll go to Object, Path, Offset Path. And the window that pops open, all you have to do is hit Preview. And it shows you what the offset path is. So I'm going to actually make this a quarter of an inch. And you can see that it's created a quarter inch uh, contour around our, our words. So in order to separate these a little bit, uh, we want to click on the, the off offset path that we made and ungroup it. So now we have each letter is clickable. So we want to hold down Shift and click on the new path that we just created. All the letters. And then if you go Object and then Group. We want to group those together. So now we need to make a second offset path off of that previous one. So we can make a third layer. So let's do the same thing. Go to Path, Offset Path, in the preview. It's already at a quarter inch, and we're just going to hit OK. So now we've got a third layer, and same thing as before, we click on it, go to Object, Ungroup. So now each letter is clickable by itself. So you go to the first letter, hold down Shift, click on each letter after that. Just the outline one, the, the, the biggest one. Now we go back to Object and group those together. So now what we need to do is go to Pathfinder, which is in the Window menu. That's the window that looks like this. When you click on the first one, uh, it will weld everything together. Uh, the second layer here, I haven't uh, grouped that yet, so let's go ahead and do that. Object, Group, and then go to Pathfinder and click Unite. And that basically creates one big shape. So now all we have to do is change the outline colors so that we can put these on different layers. And we'll make sure that the outline color is uh, red for this one. And it looks like I've forgotten to click on the inside letters. So let's do the same thing. Hold down Shift, click on all the inside letters, go to Object, Group, and then put the red outline on that layer. Okay, so now we have three individual colors. We're going to zoom back out on the page. If you hold down the Alt key and click, it will zoom back out. And then click on the Pick tool. Let's select the entire thing and move it down to the bottom left corner of the page. This is your origin point on the machine. So now we're going to export it. So I'll go File, Export. The first window that pops open is uh, basically naming it and making sure you've got DXF as the save as type. And give it a name, make sure it's in a location where you can find it again. And we'll just name this Ioline Kiss Cut Illustrator. When you click Save, another window pops open. Now make sure that all the settings in your window match this window exactly. Uh, 2000 LT, 2000, 
Scale 1 inch equals 1 unit. Scale line weights should be unchecked, and all the rest of the settings that you see here should be the same. And that's pretty much it. Once you've clicked uh, OK on that, then your object is exported for opening up in an IO line program. Thanks a lot.